as I always do, I stay up to date on all news, rumors, and headlines. And it, what a coincidence it is that Ric Flair is in poor condition. Triple H very worried about Ric Flair. Although Ric Flair just signed a new contract with WWE. I don't know how the heck that happened knowing the circumstances. Knowing that Triple H wants Ric Flair to seek help. And as I, as I do on every WWE news, rumors, and headlines, I stay up to date. I work around the clock. I don't sleep. I don't take a day off. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. I believe in hard work, hustle, and hopefully the road to race to 100,000 subscribers. But I do got an update on Ric Flair's health and his status. I also got an update on the SmackDown ratings. Just like I do each and every Monday and Tuesday, I give you the Raw review and then the ratings for Raw and SmackDown. Which show was more competitive, compelling, and which show, show got the higher rating? Subscribe and hit the bell below to get the uploads from Sean's View Entertainment. Last night's SmackDown featuring Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt versus American Alpha in the main event. In the final help, final, final hype for TLC drew 2,576 million viewers. This is up 2.8% from last week's 2.505 million viewers. SmackDown was number 8 for the night on cable television behind Curse of Oak Island, Fixer Upper, Hannity, The Kelly File, Special Report, Tucker Carlson, and The Five. And number 3 in the 18 to 49 demographic behind Curse of Oak Island and Fixer Upper. In comparison, Monday's Raw averaged 3.110 million viewers, up from last week's 3.002 million viewers. So as you can see, once again, Raw did come up again big, but many felt SmackDown was the better show. Now let's get back into the news regarding Ric Flair, his status, his health, and his condition. Even though WWE Hall of Famer Ric Flair has agreed to a new contract with WWE, according to PW Insider, Triple H has said to be very worried about Ric Flair and feels he's been party partying too hard lately, especially at his age. Flair is scheduled to be a regular on the Raw brand after endorsing new Raw Women's Champion Sasha Banks on this week's show. However, according to a source close to the situation, Hunter has tried to encourage Ric Flair to seek treatment, which he has refused to consider. Triple H was the one that pushed for Flair to be on Raw Monday and wanted a chance to speak to him face-to-face -to, -face to see how he was doing. Viewers and subscribers, that is the latest update. I maintain. I stay in control. I try to give you everything I have. But when I look at my views on YouTube and it says 100 views in 5, 6 hours, it's very troubling. I don't know if YouTube's broke. I don't know if viewers aren't getting my, my videos. I don't know if subscribers aren't getting my uploads or my updates. Because when I work around the clock, I truly do work around the clock almost hourly. If it were up to me, it would be by the minutes. But obviously, you know, I can't do that because I do need some kind of time to myself. But I do devote, devote more time to YouTube. But uh, in all seriousness, I am very uh, worried. I am very concerned about Ric Flair. The fact that Ric Flair just signed a new contract, I'm surprised that they would do that knowing the state of mind Ric Flair is in with all the partying and all the drinking and, uh, you know, being a party animal. You know, this isn't the 60s and the 70s, the 80s, or the 90s anymore. Ric Flair needs to slow down. We don't want him ending up like the Macho Man or the Ultimate Warrior or Dusty Rhodes or Rowdy Roddy Piper. I mean, I know a lot of these wrestlers all died under different circumstances, but we don't want Ric Flair added to the list. Listen, it's a positive that SmackDown uh, and Raw both saw an upage in ratings and viewership this week, that's a good sign. That's all fine and well, but I am more concerned about Ric Flair. And of course, we got TLC this Sunday. So obviously, SmackDown has done a good job in developing storylines and angles going into the show that has held people's interest. But what I'm more worried about and concerned about is Ric Flair. And I cannot believe that the WWE would sign Ric Flair to a new deal knowing um, the health issues that are at stake and how Triple H is so worried. So once again, I cross my hands, my fingers, I cross everything, uh, you know, cross my heart, everything that... Ric Flair can overcome this and get the proper help he needs and deserves. Or does Ric Flair want to die? Sometimes these guys just say they've had enough and they can't take it. But then again, why would Ric Flair sign a new contract? I don't know. There's a lot of iffy things going on here. But I, I what I really hope is that Ric Flair is fine and that there there's nothing to be concerned about. But when there's a report that goes out that says Triple H is thoroughly concerned, that makes me thoroughly worried and over-concerned. And for a person in me that does cry over wrestlers' death, like Eddie Guerrero, like Macho Man. 
like all these other guys. We still have Jake the Snake and Sting and Bret Hart and Hulk Hogan and Stone Cold and The Rock. We still have all these favorites. We still have all these future Hall of Famers or Hall of Famers. We still have all these iconic figures, but we, we don't want to lose Ric Flair. Your comments, your opinion. So SmackDown on the rebound. Ric Flair's health, I hope, improves. I'll give you all the news, rumors, headlines in the breaking news on Ric Flair's health and status. Subscribe today.